Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Forza 6. In the last episode, we did a lot of um, we did a lot of showcase events because the rain really got us down. So I'm thinking about trying a different series. How about historic sports car racing? Because we have garage car eligible. This one is an S class, so that's gonna be super fast too. Uh, however, however, historic racing. It's an A class. We have a Ferrari in our garage that we've never got to use, a 330p4, so I think I'm just gonna pick that, and we're gonna try to do this one. We are in uh, Le Mans Circuit de la Sarre, Ribbon Bugatti Circuit. All right, Ooh, let's hope this is a little better than the last one. Your next race will be at Le Mans, host of the prestigious 24 Hours of Le Mans. Here we go, it's just as wet as that race with the Aston Martin, but, but, the cars are a little less powerful, so hopefully not as insane to control. Now, we have the uh, wet racing expert already on, we have the chase cam already on, we have Ferrari, so why not? Oh, we don't have any green cards left, do we? We don't, we should totally buy a pack, let's buy a pack, let's buy a 150,000 credit pack. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. What do we get? Uh, boost. We got uh, drafting. We've got uh, manufacturer. Oh, superb drafting. Ooh. Manufacturer proficiency. Grip specialist in Huckenheim. And pristine passing. There's a lot of passing involved here. Well, two. Two passing cards. So let's use. Uh, we might as well use one of these, right? Let's use uh, this one. Pristine passing. 3,000 credits for perfect passes up to 18,000 credits. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. And hopefully... <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully... I do have a backup plan. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to turn on rewinds. And then every time I, I go around a corner and, and it gets pretty crazy, I'll just rewind time and everything's going to be fine. All right, it does not feel as crazy as the Aston. So far, so good. Yeah, this feels a lot better. Oh, we overshot that breaking point a little bit though. That guy went off. Wow, and then he came back on with a vengeance. Oh, this is much better. This is much better. I don't mind those fast cars, but not in the rain, man. That is so difficult to control. This is making me feel good. And somebody a couple videos ago told me I was a better driver than Kurt, and that made me feel all warm and fuzzy. I don't know if it's true, <laughs> but I don't care. It made me feel nice. I like feeling like I'm good at something. Whoa! Yep, that that puddle's still there. All right, nice and easy on this guy. Easy. I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to hit you. I didn't expect you to slow down so much. Ferrari. This Ferrari looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous Ferrari. We're, we're sort of leaving everybody behind here, so I think we're doing okay. Perfect draft there. That was nice. Should have uh, used the perfect draft card, not the perfect passing card. This guy, see, I had to go, I had to go off track just so he wouldn't hit me. Trying my dangdest. Easy, big fella. Oh yeah, much easier to control. This is great. This is great, man. And the other car, the Aston, that was with the grip card. That was with the grip card. I couldn't even get going in a straight line. There we go, a nice corner. Lap one of five is complete. On to two of five. And we are already in first place. I love this. This is great. This, oh, this makes me feel so much. I thought I was gonna be stuck in that series forever. I was way outside too. And now I'm I'm so confident I'm taking chances with this car. So I feel like I can I can handle it. It's great. Ooh. Man, I've been looking at a lot of like, well, I always do. I don't know if you guys do this or not. If you're watching this series, you're probably a car person and you probably do this, but 
I, uh, I searched, like, the classifieds, like, the used car auto trader, basically. I search auto trader just when I'm sitting on the couch watching TV and I'm bored, which doesn't happen a lot lately, trust me. I have barely used my TV lately. Anyway, uh, but yeah, when, when it does happen and I'm bored, I just sit there and I look through auto trader and see, like, the stuff available and, man, there are some beautiful old Ferraris that I just want to own so bad, but that I don't have half a million dollars for. <laughs> ridiculous, whoa, ridiculous cost in some of these cars, but they're some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Like the older, the older supercars, we're not talking 80s, we're talking like, I'm not sure why I mentioned the 80s specifically, but we're talking like the 60s. I guess they probably weren't even considered supercars in the 60s, but you know what I'm talking about. Like the old, like this thing, this thing is gorgeous. It's not the most beautiful thing around, but it's, I would take it. I would take it probably over a modern day Ferrari, honestly. It just looks better, and I'm sure it's worth a lot more, but that's not even why I'd take it. I just think it's not faster, that's for sure. The modern day Ferraris are way faster. Modern day cars are way faster than their older counterparts, but the older counterparts just look so beautiful. Like, Lamborghini, I've never been a fan of Lamborghini. I mean, I would totally own one if somebody gave me a Lamborghini. Are you kidding me? And, and even if I had, like, a ton of money, I'd probably buy a Lamborghini because they're amazing cars. But in terms of style points, style points, in, in terms of styling, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, I would never own a Lamborghini. It's just they don't look... They don't look good. The 80s Lambos, when everybody was like drooling over them, like the old Diablo and the old Countach. Oh my god. Those things are ugly. Those are like the ugliest cars. Of course, having said that, one of my favorite cars is the Lotus Esprit, which is pretty wedge-shaped and and not very curvy, but but that's not even the point. The the older Lamborghinis, just, the Diablo wasn't too bad, but the Countach with all those edges and ridges and angles, and I just I couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it. So yeah, there's there's my rant about cars. Oh yeah, back to my original point. If you guys like um, surf the classified, the car, the used car classifieds when you're bored? Because I'm always doing that. Always. Usually looking for like older cars. Uh, just want to see what they're going for, and, and then I start dreaming about owning it, and it, it's just it makes me feel nice. Like, I know in my right mind, I'm looking through it and I know, well, I'm not going to buy any of these, but... And then I start looking, and then I think about, wow, if I owned that, this is what I would do. I would drive here, and I would have my top down, depending on if it's a convertible or not. Uh, and then I'd have so much fun doing this, and in the summertime, and then the, in the fall, I would drive through here, and all the fall leaves... I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I, I picture myself in every single car that I like on Auto Trader, and it's amazing! It's like one of my favorite pastimes. I know it sounds so lame, but it's so much fun. Just thinking about... Whoa! Okay. Just thinking about owning that car. It just it just makes me feel good. Anyway, I'm sorry if I'm weird. I apologize. We're on our fourth lap already. Holy crap, and we're doing great. This is rain, and we are not even feeling a bit of it. So much better than that, Aston. slow down here a little bit oh I was gonna change the view to the inside of the car view but I'm using chase cam only that's a shame I bet the inside of this car we'll use it in the next race we'll use it in the next race or some of it anyway probably not the whole race nice perfect Look at how much distance we're putting between. See, again with the difficulty thing, if I had set my difficulty to harder back when I was racing that Aston, there's no way I would have even finished top 20 probably. But now in this car, I probably should have set the difficulty higher because I'm just killing the competition. It's so hard to gauge with this game. I'm glad I didn't have to turn on rewinds though because you guys would have probably hated me. Probably already hate me. Oh my god, you ditched the Austin and you're racing in an old Ferrari. Ooh. That's like the noise. 
that's the noise you make when uh when you're angry. I don't know what noise that is. But that's what you make, so stop making it. Like the first time I slid in this in this trap. All right, final lap coming up. We are killing it in our old school Ferrari. Look at it; it's gorgeous, gorgeous. A little bit outside there. I'm trying to break outside so I can, like, get some speed heading into the corner, but it's difficult with the rain because outside you have those puddles and then they, they kind of, like, suck you into the grassy area if you're not careful. Okay, easy. Good, good. Ooh, get back on, get back on. There you go, big fella. What's your dream cars, guys? I'm probably, I probably asked this before in a bunch of other races, but I'm always curious to know what people's dream cars are. Oh my gosh. I mentioned one of my favorites was that Lotus Esprit, but as the years go by, and I look at it more and more, I get to realize how dated it looks. Having said that, my dream car is probably something much older. Something, lately, I mean, I've been really, just the old DB9s, like the old 60s DB9s are so gorgeous. And the older Ferraris from that same era, beautiful cars, beautiful curves. I probably have one of those over the Lotus Esprit. Oh, well, I definitely would actually. I just realized that my it's no longer my favorite supercar or my favorite car, the Lotus Esprit. I don't know what what is, but I know it's dropped down in the ranks. Just realized that right now, because of its dated looks. Oh, easy. All right, finishing the race on a strong note. First place. Not even close. We killed it with this Ferrari. I'm so glad I switched. So glad I switched. We win a prize. Okay, let's uh, get... Uh, we need some cash, man. We are running low on cash. Let's get some... Or we can have a 600,000 credit Falcon FG. Fantastic. Well, that is pretty. You can sell cars in this, right? One race completed. Let's do another one. Here we are at uh, the Nurburgring. I have uh, decided to leave the leave the wet racing expert mod on. We have severe weight increase on, and we have affinity level XP. Here we go. I don't think the extra eight percent or nine percent in weight will affect me too much, so I'm banking on that. I'm hoping that is the case. God, look at this Ferrari. Oh, look at the inside. I might drive from the inside if I if I get out front and have a good lead. Bit of a crazier takeoff. It looks heavier, the rain, doesn't it? Ugh. Okay. Everybody crashed after that first corner. There was a lot of a lot of puddle there. Nice power through there. Gonna break a little bit here. There's a lot of puddles. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go! And draft this guy a little bit. And on the inside, good pass. Why was that not a perfect pass? Why was that a good pass only? Oh god, this, this. Yeah, let's not get too close to the inside corner there. Yeah, we are in second place already. It's looking good for that inside the car view. 
fellow Canadian right here. Hi, dude. Go, Canada. Out my way. Oh, my goodness. Visibility is not great. Visibility is not great, but it's really cool driving from inside the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't even see the track there. Oh, God, it's difficult. All right, okay. The guy's right there. The guy's still right there. I always feel like I'm going so much slower when I'm driving inside the car. Right there, oh my gosh. This thing makes things more exciting, that's for sure. Ooh! Uh oh. Not good, not good. Yeah, I didn't see that corner coming with the inside of the car view. Okay. Ah! Outside the car is where it's at. Woo! When I was doing that Forza thing, like 90% of the people use the outside of the car view because you can see more of the track. It's just, it's just common sense. That was a lot of braking. Hey, don't hit that puddle. Nice. Good grip around there. Car does not feel heavier at all. It's supposed to have 9% extra weight on me, but it does not feel heavier. Of course, 9% of nothing is nothing. And this car, I'm guessing, weighs practically nothing. He is way off. Just don't come back behind you. <laughs> this, is this the corner that has the the inside of the corner is full of puddles? No, it's not. It's not the one. It, it does have puddles though. And he's off again. Wow. Hey, Sil, you are. Uh, a pretty crazy driver there, buddy. Nice. And great. Perfect turn there. Whoa. I overcorrected a bit much. Yeah, we're putting some distance between us now. Love that slight right corner. Really keep a lot of your momentum going. There we go. I think I'm doing pretty good in terms of driving like that. I just could not control that Aston Martin. I, I just did really terrible. It was a ter maybe I was having a bad day. Maybe I should go back and try it. <laughs> but maybe not. Whoa! Need to scratch my face. Okay, there we go. Face is scratched. But yeah, I think for the most part I do a pretty good job. If I look back on uh, my first races, I think I'm, I've improved greatly. Wide there. Big puddle. Let's stay the outside of the puddle this time. Controlling it around that corner, even though we were drifting a bit. Another braking line that I went a little wide on because of puddles. A lot of puddles. A lot of puddles. Racing in the rain is really not fun in this game. If you have this game, you know. You hit one puddle at high speed and you are done for. There we go. Nice and wide on that corner. 
Didn't want to get inside that wet area. Should we try for inside the car view again for the final lap? We'll do it for the final lap. Inside the car view all the way around, I hope. Let's try to pat our lead here before we do that. It's a little bit crazy right there. This is going to be tough. We got second and third place and fourth place, actually. Not that far from us. Alright, here we go. Nice little stretch. Yeah, second is not far from us. There's that slight right that I love so much because I can keep up a lot of speed going through it. Then I gotta break way down for here. I'm gonna cross the grass just a little bit. Easy. All right. Oh, back on the track. All right. Here we go. Here we go. For the final lap. We're going to try to do it for the whole lap. But, of course, if we screw up royally, we're not going to do it for the whole lap. Speaking of screwing up royally, oh, my gosh. Ooh. Okay. Still ahead. Still ahead. It's still good. It's still good. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. Oh, God. This is not a good idea. It's really not a good idea. I can't see the road. There's too much car and not enough windshield. And with the raindrops... Like, look at that. I would say... Less than 50% of the screen is winch. Oh, we can we can do Ah! Stop messing with your camera, dude. Stop messing with your camera. Hey, this one. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, this is much better. I can actually see where I'm going. There we go. Very nice. Still getting some raindrops. Good turn. That was a great turn. They don't have great as, a, as an option, do they? It goes from good to perfect. There's nothing in between. It goes from meh to, oh my god, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Car's behind me. No doubt due to that in-car view fiasco. Oh, right on the edge there. Perfect turn. Oh, yeah. And in the home stretch to finish first once again. Done. Very nice. I'm loving this Ferrari right now. New showcase unlocked. The Moments in Motorsport Grand One Grand 1960s Grand Prix Legends. Woo! Two down, uh, three to go. 